Hello, my name is Senorita Misha. Not actually, but that's just what I am in this video, I guess. Okay, so it might be kind of long and I'm using me writing on my whiteboard as an excuse to have kind of a long intro type thing. So, um, there's 17 tenses in Spanish and in Spanish too, you get to know four out of the 17. And so I'm going to teach you the worst, the most evil one of all, and it's called the preterite. It's extremely, extremely irregular and it's one of the hardest tenses to learn how to conjugate and to learn what uses and how pretty much how you use it in conversation. So here you go. Preterite is usually mixed up with imperfect because they're both past tenses and in English we just say he went, she went, I went. You don't really pay attention to which actual tense you're using. There's a difference between them. I'm sorry. <laughs> the preterite could be used for events that happen once. For example, she arrived. You could say ella llego because you can only arrive once. So that kind of makes sense. It can be also used for an event that happened in the past on a specific time like or a date or like a day of the week. For example, I could say I went to school yesterday. Fui al colegio ayer. Preterite can be used for a chain of events, like listing what you do in the morning. Like, this morning, I got up, I got dressed, and left the house. Esta mañana me levante, me vista y salí de la casa. I'm really close to the computer screen. Like, hello. <laughs> How are you doing, ladies, today? This is a little thing on conjugation. There are AR verbs and ER and IR verbs. And AR verbs are kind of by themselves, and ER and IR verbs are kind of like their own little group. So AR is kind of like the third wheel. I kind of like AR verbs better. Is that weird? Probably. Okay. Ugh. I'm getting sidetracked. This is the conjugation chart for an AR verb. If you're wondering, those accents are necessary. I'm sorry, but they need to be there because they can easily be mixed up with um, a present verb because the present conjugation doesn't have accents. So you need those. We can conjugate a verb, for ejemplo, hablar. That means to talk. So that's how you conjugate hablar. So you would say, yo hablé, tu hablaste, el habló, nosotros hablamos, and with the amos ones, they're kind of the same as the present tense, so you just have to kind of go by context with that. It just takes practice. Vosotros hablasteis, ustedes hablaron. Yay, we just conjugated our first word, you guys. Let's have a round of applause, but not actually, because that'd be weird if you clapped in front of your computer. This is the conjugation chart for an ER or IR verb. That's the conjugation table. The accents are necessary. And don't forget to put it on the O and not the I, because you're emphasizing the O, you're not emphasizing the I when you pronounce it. So that's that. How you conjugate comer. Yo comí. Tu comiste, él comió, nosotros comimos, vosotros comisteis, ustedes comieron. Now we can do an IR verb since comer is an ER verb. They're conjugated the same, but just in case if you want to see what an IR verb looks like. When it's conjugated with the ER slash IR conjugation pattern thing and stuff. Stop. That's how you conjugate vivir. Yo viví, tu viviste. El vivió, nosotros vivimos, vosotros vivisteis, ustedes vivieron. There's a bunch of verbs that are irregular. It's horrible and you have to memorize all of them because you cannot conjugate them without changing the stem. And it really, really sucks. But you have to know them. So here they are. I'm gonna do the infinitive form and then under it the change. Have fun. There's andar and it changes to anduv. Estar changes to estu. Tener changes to tuv. Aber changes to ub. Poder changes to pud. Poner changes to pus. Saber changes to soup. Hacer changes to is. Correr changes to quis. And venir turns to vin. This is the conjugation table for an irregular verb. And if you think these kind of look familiar, it's because they do. This entire side happens to be the IR, ER conjugation. 
And these two are part of the AR, except they don't have accents. Please don't forget to leave off those accents on those two. And then this is also part of the ER IR. Just do the root changes and conjugate it with these endings and you should be fantastic. This is the conjugation for poner. Yo puse, tu pusiste, el puso, nosotros pusimos, nosotros pusisteis, ustedes pusieron. So yeah, I think that's about it. Any information I didn't have in this video, I'm probably going to put in the doobly-doo. bab do bab be do ba And the meanings of the verbs, I'm also going to put down there. I just didn't feel like saying the meanings of all the verbs that I used. That's about it. I think if I forgot anything, tell me, but don't be mean about it because I'm very sensitive, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm a freak. Okay, so yes, I'm leaving, ending this here. Bye.